All right, hey guys, just as I promised, here's a, another video that I have. Just gonna go right down my list of so many things that I have. Um, recently picked uh, up a new uh, LAN cable and phone uh, cable tester. Uh, and actually even uh, RG6, uh, I think it even does 59 uh, on here too. But um, this thing is just an awesome, awesome little tester. As you can see, it's already been open. Uh, I've used it a whole bunch of times. Uh, it'll tell you uh, some wonderful things. So this is uh, the Klein Tools VDV Scout Pro 3 test kit. Um, they have a bunch of different versions of this unit that you can get. Uh, I personally got this one off of eBay uh, just because it was a quarter of the cost of Amazon and anywhere else that had it. Um, they have a bunch of different versions of it. Uh, this is the one that I got that came with uh, obviously the unit itself, um, uh, the instructions of course, it came with these little uh, devices. Now there's a much better version and honestly I wish I really would have uh, read the fine print uh, because these little devices, one through five on here, uh, I got all excited, you know, these little clips, you plug it in and I was like, oh, all right, great, this will tell me, you know, what room uh, I'm searching for uh, and uh, if it has all the connections, if there's any issues and it doesn't do that. Uh, it actually will just tell you what room uh, you're looking at. Uh, now, before I get ahead of myself, uh, again, this, this tool helps you find um, the uh, location of uh, cables, where they go, uh, where if the connections are good, uh, if all the wires are there. Uh, and um, again, uh, it's just all around a great cheap or inexpensive, should I say, uh, tool to use. There's some very expensive ones out there that will tell you uh, noise ratings and uh, speeds and things like that. This will only tell you whether or not uh, it has uh, the, the signal is there, um, which is a good and a bad thing. Uh, so the good thing is, is that it's inexpensive. The bad thing is, is it doesn't really mean anything other than the signal is getting from point A to point B. Whether or not the signal is a clean signal or a strong signal is a different story. Case in point, my house. My house, um, I can tell you from my corner here uh, to my media closet, uh, all the wires work, no problem. I cannot get a signal over 100 megabytes per second from this jack upstairs. I have had, uh, I have, this is my second tester, which is why I bought this one. I have another one that I will do another video on. Um, I bought this tester specifically because of this issue, um, which again, it did not help me out very much other than telling me that the wiring's fine already. I've already had, and I've already had two or three different experts come in, uh, internet experts, uh, wiring experts come in and do testing and they cannot figure out why I can't get over 100 megabytes per second from point A to point B. Uh, and their only answer is it must be cheap knockoff cable that's not really RJ uh, or, uh, or uh, CAT, I'm sorry, it's not CAT 6 cable or CAT 5, 5E cable, it must be fake cables. Um, or there could be a pinch somewhere uh, in the attic underneath the, fr the furnace uh, that is causing the issue, but they have no idea, so I can't use the jack for anything uh, or any of the jacks actually in my house i had to rerun custom uh, rerun custom wires uh, myself to a couple of the rooms so it sucks but again the nice thing is that i got this device it's very easy uh, to use um, again some of the things that i wish i knew is that these again will only tell you what room you're connected to it will not tell you whether or not the wiring is okay now on the device itself it comes with this little piece here. This little piece on the bottom actually allows you to connect either a, right here is the uh, ethernet core, ethernet jack, so your regular internet, and this one right here is for your phone. So as if anyone uses that nowadays. Um, but this will tell you whether or not your cable's good. So I have here a Cat6 cable. This is brand new, as you can see, um, still, sitting here uh, wrapped up. So what this can do, pop it in here, and I'll pop it into the other side. This is just gonna simulate what would happen if I plugged, it, plugged this into the outlet here, and then just plug this into a jack uh, in, uh, up in the media closet. So I'm gonna go ahead and just turn on the device here now, okay? 
and it's going to go ahead and start running its checks. It's, it's going to go ahead and tell me whether or not it's going to be connected. So I'm going to go ahead and say, all right, this is a, 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 a network cable. So I hit the network button. And as you can see right here, it says one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, all the way over to eight. Okay. And they're all in alignment. Now, for some reason, if there were to be line switch, so for example, if I were to do, um, there's two different versions of, uh, of, I don't know if it's called the Keystone S. It's not Keystone, but um, there's basically two different versions. There's an A and a B when it comes down to how um, how cables work. I mean, you're not really going to be able to see too well on this image. Oh, maybe. Um, you can see there's different colors in there. There's a, a blue, white, red. I mean, there's all these different colors in here. Um, so there's a, a green, there's a white, green, blue, blue, uh, white and blue. There's an orange, uh, orange and white, brown, and brown and white. Um, so what that is, is basically there's eight different small pieces of wire. And each one carries um, either a signal or power. Um, and what it allows you to do is get your full speed. Um, and then there's, there's a whole bunch of other stuff, um, but that's just beyond what this video needs to be about. Um, but basically this will tell you whether or not one of those wires is, is cut. If one of those wires is cut, you're not gonna get the speed that you're looking for, or maybe no speed at all, no signal. Uh, now the cool thing again about this, if say for an example, you're not getting signal for some reason, there's a button down here that will let you actually tell you what n numbers are showing. So for example, this says one and two is dead, as an example. Well, you can see here, it says one and two is five feet long, okay? So if I were to have this in a wall and it said, you know, one through eight and one and two were bad, and it said one and two is five feet, and the rest of them are 40 feet long, okay, well, I know five feet from my point, whichever direction the wire runs, I know it's cut right there for some reason. Maybe a nail went through it when they were putting up um, the siding outside and it came through somehow into the house or maybe they put a screw into it and they're putting up the drywall um, or somebody just nicked it for some reason maybe just got pinched in the wall during a, a turn um, I know five feet from that location I need to cut the drywall open and go right there and that's where the problem is going to be um, and I actually have had that happen to me my neighbor next door um, there they had their um, uh, wiring technician came in they ran something like this and it said eight feet actually it was uh, I think it was six feet actually the guy went up six feet punched a hole in the wall uh, and right there was the cable somebody for some reason had cut it wrapped it up in a circle and zip tied it uh, inside the wall <laughs> and he was pretty upset about that um, because of all his hard work that he had put it in there to begin with uh, but in any case uh, that's where uh, where this kind of device comes in handy. Uh, again, it'll uh, tell you uh, whether or not you have signal or not. Um, it'll tell you what might not be working, but it's not gonna tell you the quality of the signal, uh, what the that the speed it could handle. Um, those types of devices are extremely expensive, uh, hundreds if not thousands of dollars. Uh, it won't tell you the noise rating uh, and noise uh, constitutes uh, if there is some type of interference on the line that could slow you down, uh, such as surge protectors or a bend in the wire. I actually had um, uh, my cable company came out. I was having some issues with the new modem. And um, when they opened up the uh, the little box, I saw that, the, that there was a bend like that for my uh, RG6 cable, uh, which is cable, uh, regular, uh, 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 cable for like cable TV. Um, he unbent it and reran the test and the signal was reduced significantly um, from that noise rating. So it boosted up my, my connection just a little, you know, a little bit more enough for it to be extremely stable. Um, again, never really had issues, but he said it just made it that much better and, and he showed me this crazy graph uh, of before and after. Um, uh, so in any case, again, this is a great little device. I think, again, I spent maybe 25 bucks on it. It has uh, you know, a, a light feature where you, where you can turn it on if it's, if it's dim-lidded. Um, I actually love this thing. I went to uh, a neighbor's house recently. A young man got, a, uh, for Christmas, a gaming computer, and he couldn't get internet for some reason in his, in his bedroom, so he was literally plugged in uh, to the laundry room and had a table next to the laundry room so that he could play his, his new computer. I went over there, popped this in, turned it on, no signal. Uh, eventually traced it to they never hooked up to his room. Uh, literally that was a dead 
spot that nothing was hooked up to it for some reason. Um, uh, and, you know, I only had two wires working it was because they had spliced into all this crazy stuff to his room. So for whatever reason, he has no idea. They're original owners and anyhow. Um, again, it's a great device. Uh, again, for 25 bucks, it, 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 it's, it's a nice little tool. Uh, again, I like how this goes right back into itself. You can have uh, live connections. So you can have it continuously check over and over and over again whether or not the signal is there. So you can be you know, punching in all the different uh, lines and you can see each one come on one by one to make sure that when you punch it in, that's in all the way that it actually has signal. Again, for $25, can't go wrong. Uh, highly recommend it. Again, this specific one is the uh, VDV Scout Pro uh, 3. Uh, so it's VDV 501 uh, is the exact model number. Uh, again, I love it. It does, again, phone, uh, e uh, Ethernet cables, and then also does uh, cable. Um, and again, if you can uh, get the more expensive one that comes where with multiple pieces of these, uh, they, they look like this, just a little bit bigger. And it'll actually tell you the speed for each, or not speed, but it'll tell you uh, the how the wires are, the status of each wire. Rather, this just tells you whether or not there's a wire there. Um, so this will just say, yep, number one located, number two located, number three located, versus the other one will be just like this and say, hey, number five is located and line four and six are not connected. Um, so again, uh, and I think that one was, it was $40, $50 more, but it would have been so much better than having this. This, to me, in a way, is just useless other than, hey, yeah, I got signal. Well, once I know I have signal in that location, I now have to go plug this device in so that way I can know whether or not the signal is even going to work once I actually hook up a computer to it. Uh, again, it's nice to have around the house, especially for troubleshooting uh, or for situations like this. I got a new Ethernet cord. I want to make sure that it's actually working uh, instead of just plugging it in and crossing my fingers that I trust the manufacturer that they actually gave me a, a good cable. Um, again, highly recommend it. Uh, again, if you can get it for under 50 bucks, again, again, $25 or less, uh, it was a great, great purchase. Um, again, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Let me know if you're using this tester or another one. If you have a better, better option or one that does speed testing, that'd be great. Um, I only kind of know of more expensive testers or buying like a Raspberry Pi and putting, you know, iPerf on there. Um, but let me know what you guys do because uh, I would love to have um, something else in my and my uh, bag that I can bring with me to somebody's house. Um, I love helping people with their internet issues around here. Uh, we're all neighbors and we need to help each other out. So something I could do to help my neighbor, I really appreciate it. Again, thanks uh, again for watching. Uh, God bless. Bye-bye.